She's You've got in. tankers that are that are on fire. We're evacuating people. There's a military operation essentially to evacuate these people. Um, so what are you going to do in this moment to fix this situation, to solve it? What would you do today? Number one, we always need to make sure that, that our folks are safe, that our personnel are safe, that they have what they need. We're going to support them over there. Uh, secondly, uh, we need to engage our allies and put pressure on Iran through sanctions and other ways to ensure that they don't act in an aggressive way. Well, the administration has done that. One of the choices would be to relieve, to relieve those sanctions. Is that anything that you would consider in this moment? Look, I'm not privy to all of the intelligence information, obviously, that, that uh, Mike Pompeo is or the president is. Um, but I believe that this conflict with Iran has been ginned up and that we're moving down a path that seems familiar from the past that has led to a lot of turmoil in that region. And so I would do everything that I could to work with our allies to try and avoid further escalation, but to you, try and de-escalate that. You know what they say, the administration. They say the reason Iran is acting this way is because the sanctions are squeezing them. And they're acting out, and these fires are real. It's not fake. The oil tankers were on fire today. So that's, that's the genesis of the question. Uh, again, um, you know, I, I don't necessarily think that we need to ease up on sanctions. However... Um, the mistake that this president made was changing the relationship that we had in terms of the Iran nuclear agreement that was in place. What he did was basically break apart the, the positive forward progress that we had with Iran that was abided. All of the intelligence agencies said that they were abiding by the terms of that agreement. It was an effective agreement. And then, unfortunately, this president came in and said, no, we're not going to abide by it. And I think that that has led to the instability that we see today.